are delighted to welcome you here to this uh, Heritage Day where we're going to, uh, with you and with some excellent talks throughout the day, uh, be celebrating a Banai past, present and future. Um, I should introduce myself as well, Catherine, the Chief Executive of the National Park, so really delighted to, uh, to share the day with you. Um, just a few words from me about heritage in the National Park. Uh, heritage is absolutely crucial and I, I, I guess everybody here would agree to the future of the landscape here in the National Park. Our approach to the management plan, which we'll hear more from uh, Helen about shortly, is to see our park as the complex interrelated system that it is. And we, as the National Park Authority, have to try and be masters of that, of that balance, which is a, a challenging place to be at times. Uh, and I believe over the last few years, we've seen a, a positive shift um, exemplified by our management plan, which we published earlier this year, and by the excellent work of the Historic Environment Partnership. From seeing heritage as somehow separate from the broader management of the National Park, to seeing heritage assets in the broader landscape context as vital, irreplaceable uh, ingredients of the overall picture. This provides for new management approaches, some of which we start to explore in the plan, um, which enhance natural, cultural and heritage values together, all of which are absolutely central to the special qualities of this national park. The rapid nature of environmental change, the biodiversity crisis and other challenges, I mean, Malid's alluded to a few, but you know, the changing economy spring to mind, all call for difficult decisions and choices about how we manage all our assets. Integrating our thinking into the wider context is therefore key. It's through that interdisciplinary approach, which I think has been brought to bear in the production of this plan, that we can help to safeguard, understand and be inspired by the extraordinary historic richness of our landscape. The Geopark, the Blenivan Industrial Landscape World Heritage Site, sites of recognised international significance. Here in Brecon and the wider park, and indeed a good example, this very Guild Hall, which I'm pleased to be standing in today, uh, and of which we'll hear more um, from Elizabeth Jeffries later, um, if you can join for the walk, which I hope you can. Uh, the range of listed buildings we have in the park, 1,946, I'm told, in all. The scheduled monuments and the historic parks and gardens, there are places of religion, there are places of mystery. They're things that we still have to yet fully understand. And of course, we have the historic names, which add so much to our feeling for the area for Wales and for our place in the world. National parks are all about how past human activity has shaped our landscape. And interestingly, according to some recent work undertaken in the Lake District by the Friends of the Lake District, it's this tangible link between people of the past and the heritage features they've left behind that most resonates with visitors and residents today. These features are most valued because of the deeply personal connections they create. Human connections create care, and care is something we can all show, whatever our role in respect to the National Park. Today, uh, we're seeing the launch of a very special piece of work driven by the Historic Environment Partnership, the Historic Environment Action Plan. I'm very pleased to thank all of the partners, CADU, the Brecknock Society and Museum Friends, the Park Society, the Royal Commission on the Ancient Historic Monuments of Wales, Fluid Powys Archaeological Trust, Brecon story, and I'm also extremely proud to acknowledge the work of Banobrakaini Og National Park Authority team. Thank you all. I hope you'll be able to stay for as much of the day as possible, and I encourage you to join the walk at the end of the day, which I, uh, the Brecon story walk, a chance to engage, absorb, and take some air uh, after some interesting input throughout the day. So, I'm very pleased to hand on today to our first speaker, Helen Luco. Um, our Head of Strategy and Policy at the National Park Authority, to set the scene through the lens of the management plan to Vaudelabana. Helen, over to you. <laughs> 